Hey, what's up you guys? Time is back with another Linton's video. Today we have a fragrance from Latafa, but before I get into that, just want to say thank you guys again. It is an honor to be playing on one of those electronic devices. Whether it is that cell phone, that tablet, that laptop, that Macintosh, that brand new big screen TV. Whether you watch me at home, at work, on a plane, a train, an automobile. However and wherever you watch me, it is an honor. And if you guys are new to this channel, you like what you see, hit the subscribe button, comment, and like. Again, likes are very important. Very, very important. Anyways, Latafa, man, Latafa, they are just pretty much, you got Latafa and then they have all these different brands off of them. They they use Latafa as the, basically the marketer. It's almost like Estee Lauder. You know, they got the, you got the Estee Lauder sells the stuff, but then they got all these, they, they, they work with all these different companies and Latafa is the same. This one um, is La Muse Oriental's Fuck It Blue. Fuck it. Fuck it blue. Lamuse Orientals. Okay. So Middle Eastern fragrance. Again, on the back, there's Latafa right here. See? So again, Latafa is this. And they use all these different brand names to kind of market their fragrances. And this one is the Lamuse Orientals. Got this one from my favorite seller in eBay. Go check him out over there in San Diego, California. Man, the guy is top notch. The, the shipping speeds the deals all that now again there are going to be some people from overseas that are going to complain about our prices being too expensive but at the same time if i were to buy these overseas like if i were actually to buy some of these i gotta wait for almost like a month to get it or the shipping is going to be too expensive so we gotta kind of pay the price for the shipping and the quick turnaround because if Man, I've bought from eBay sellers over in India before, and it's almost like a month before you get it. And it's like, I don't, I hate knowing the fact that I got money out there and I haven't gotten something back for a month. It just, something about it just irks me to you, the point of no return. But you go to this guy, you know, this guy, Triple Traders, you got the guy in Chicago, the Intense Oud store, you got the guy in Minneapolis. I'll put his link down below. And you get it probably within like a week, faster than Fragrance Net, faster than Fragrance X, faster than all those discounters. Okay, so here it goes. La Muse Oriental's Fuck It Blue. Uh, trying to find some kind of note breakdown on this fragrance. And at the end of the day, I was just like, fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it blue. can't find shit about these fragrances half of these fragrances anyways wow kind of reminds me of the looking at it, it, it this there's a reason why this was probably less than like $25 it is a 100 ml um, it is a EDP now does that mean anything when it comes to some of these Middle Easterns I don't know I really don't know but a lot of them do smell good a lot of them have great quality great performance and all that so maybe there's an edp i don't know some of these fragrances can just put edp on their fragrances just to sell it a little bit more but the this thing is cheap this feels super light in the hand like when you look at the bottle you're thinking oh man this is going to be heavy but it, this thing is actually really light almost light like uh polo sport that fragrance but then it has this top almost like a louis vuitton top now the cap is actually light as well too so everything about this bottle is just plain trash okay La Muse Oriental so now maybe La Muse is pretty much the the low end if you will of the Latafa branding okay maybe here's Latafa you got a few other you know you got Alhambra you got all these other things and right at the bottom just starting off is this La Muse because everything about this is just this is probably one of the lowest quality Middle Eastern fragrance bottles I've come across right here. Just complete trash. But as long as it smells good, it can make up for it in other ways. So let's see. Got nothing going on over here. I don't know what this fragrance is about. Again, hard to find any note breakdown on this. The sprayer is complete junk. You see that it was shooting out this like small 
little mist, not even a wide distribution. It was kind of small, kind of dinky. So sprayer in the bottle is complete trash. And honestly, I'm getting this nice kind of aquatic fruitiness right away, but it's not strong at all, you guys. So I'm gonna have to go closer and see what it's all about. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, this is gonna be one of those fragrances that you are gonna have to spray probably a lot to kind of get a nice projection. But when you get close to it, it is coming off strong off my hand. It's like literally real strong. It's, it's almost, man, this smells almost like a fresh fruity, almost shampoo-y style of fragrance, almost. Like sometimes when those women put those nice body sprays on, those fruity, fresh, kind of aquatic uh, body sprays that just smell so good in the air. This is exactly what it kind of smells like. Almost candy-like as well, like some kind of fruity candy with a little bit of like almost like the shampoo quality, the shampoo and conditioner quality. It's bright, it's fresh, it's, it's really uplifting, you guys. The problem is it, it really doesn't project at all. You're going to have to get close to this fragrance and most likely give yourself a nice little smelly Sanchez right on the upper lip right here just to get that smell throughout the whole day. Because again, when you get close, it's very strong. It's very nice too, you guys. Again, this is kind of fresh. It's almost, again, shampoo-y. It's kind of blue. It's kind of fruity. It's kind of got this aquaticness about it. It's just a very nice, smells like a old school shampoo if you will like a very nice old school shampoo if you kind of think of an old school shampoo you kind of modernize, modernize it a little bit with some fruits and a little bit of earthiness and a little bit of green and this is kind of what you get man you know don't judge the book by its cover okay I've uh, we've all been told that before but this is the time where I judge this thing. The thing is ugly. It's light. You don't even think there's anything in here. This bottle is super light, you guys. It's, uh, it, is, it is glass, but it's not thick. It is light. But again, you guys, this thing smells pretty damn good. Now, with it smelling almost like a shampoo condition with a little bit of fruity and watery notes, it kind of comes off feminine and again this smells just like a real nice clean like a nice female just steps out of the shower when they like kind of wash their hair they got that vo5 and that herbal lessons just working together that's kind of what this smells like a fruity herbal essence slash perk plus slash lever 2000 slash irish springs slash zestfully clean all that like soapy, fresh, shampoo-y, conditioner, fruity, kind of floral as well, which that probably is the shampoo-y notes because a lot of those women like those floral shampoo-y fragrances and shampoos and stuff like that. But again, it's got this nice, bright, fresh fruitiness right up at the top. Again, in the air, this thing is not really projecting at all and maybe I'll spray it a little bit more just to see. It just doesn't have a, a huge smell in the air. There's not that much projection. I mean, maybe when you get a nice little breeze, there's not really that much of a breeze out here right now, but once in a while this wind blows and I do get that nice shampoo-y, fresh, clean, soapy, fresh, fruity smell. And it smells really good, you guys. It really does. Now, again, this is more on the feminine side of things, and it's honestly really further for the, the feminine side of things. It's This is almost like maybe 75, 35, maybe 35% men will wear this. Again, when you smell it, you're going to think of almost like a shampoo-y, fruity, fresh, nice shampoo. A nice old school shampoo that's been modernized just a little bit to kind of give it that nice 
new feel, okay? This is not the VO5, this is not the Paul Mitchell, this is like the new stuff, the herbal essences of the world and the Garnier Fructis. Garnier Fructis, that shampoo smells like that, smells fruity, smells good, smells fresh, smells uplifting. Only problem is it's not that strong. Now, again, when you get closer to it, you really smell it. So this might be one of those fragrances that it's honestly i think this is probably best to wear right after a nice shower and you're just going to be lounging around the house maybe if you want to go to a nice outdoor coffee shop or like a nice little bar that's outdoors you get a nice little breeze but if the weather kind of just stays can like the same like you come outside it's warm there's no no breeze no coolness you're really not going to be projecting that much so people are going to have to get close this is probably maybe about arm's length worth of projection and that's with heavy sprays okay um but again you're not gonna offend anybody with this fragrance it smells good it smells clean again it's just not a heavy projector and it's a little bit too feminine in my opinion the wifey will probably like this i'll like it on her obviously it smells great i might even wear this too right before bed because it's kind of got that nice go to sleep scent in the air like you, you spray this and you just start feeling like counting sheep or counting your fragrances jumping over the damn box if you will here goes one two fragrant fragrant fragrance three fragrance that's what us frag heads do we don't count sheep we count our fragrances we sit up in the middle of the night thinking about the inventory on our fragrances how many of you guys do that man how much of that aqua de joe do i have left i just sprayed 10 sprays last week and i was at about 80 percent Oh, I'm getting low. I might have to go get a new one. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, it's going to be like summer, spring. This is office wear. You can wear it in the office. Ladies, you can wear this there. You can wear it after the gym. You can wear it pretty much anywhere, daytime, outdoors, indoors. You're not going to uh, offend anybody. Probably won't want to wear this in a super cold environment outdoors. It's probably not going to work. But anything indoors, even if it's an air-conditioned, controlled environment, you should probably be pretty good. Again, work, outdoors, running some errands, just chilling around the house. Pretty great smelling fragrance. It's just as the bottle sucks and it doesn't really project that much. Okay, about an arm's length worth, but that's it. Man, again, it's like you get close to it. It smells pretty strong off the hand. It's just not projecting. So whatever the hell that means, I don't know. I've never had a fragrance that smelt so strong off my hand that didn't kind of project a little bit or leave some kind of big scent bubble so it's kind of weird with this fragrance like most of them if you're gonna have this nice huge smell off your hand it's popping off the skin usually you get some kind of scent bubble but this one again when you get a little breeze yes you get a little bit of that uh that scent but that's only when the breeze comes when there's no breeze you really don't smell it that much until you get close so with that being said it's less than 30 bucks do I think it's worth that? No. If this was maybe about less than 20, I would say go cop this. But ladies, even for $30, if maybe your man just bought you this, I think you'd be pretty satisfied with it. Again, it just smells fresh and clean, almost like shampoo, like a fruity shampoo. I think you'd be impressed with it. I think you'd be satisfied, especially again, if you're not thinking too much out of the box. You think you're getting some like super duper expensive fragrance because it looks like this, but it feels light. As long as you just know what you're getting yourself into, you'll probably be satisfied with this. Okay, so with that being said, I'm going to get up out of here. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed that video. If you guys did, hit the likes, comment, subscribe. We'll be back next time. Peace. Yeah.